What's up, everybody? I'm Echo Zoo. I've been getting a lot of questions from friends lately who have been doing live vocals during their shows, as I'm sure a lot of you do, about how to get Ableton to communicate with UAD console, specifically sending MIDI messages from Ableton to UAD console so that Auto-Tune will automatically change the key that it's tuning to based on what song they're in in their set. So let's say that you have six songs in your live set and you're a singer and whenever those songs play in order, you want the key of Auto-Tune to automatically change for each song during your show without having to think about anything or change any settings. Just automagic. Automagic. We will also touch on programming notes that might exist outside of the key of your song and also on how to bypass auto tune for a section where maybe you're talking to the crowd or you're screaming, if that's your thing. Okay, so the first step is going to be going into your audio MIDI settings on your computer. So you click the little spotlight search button in the top right hand corner or command space bar audio MIDI setup. And you might get this screen. If you do, you'll go to window, show MIDI studio. You're going to see your IEC driver right here. Double click that guy. And you should already have a port in here. Either way, let's just go ahead and click the plus button. And we're going to name this UAD console MIDI. Go ahead and click apply and you're done in here. You can close this down. Now you're going to go to your Ableton Szechuan and open up your Ableton preferences. You're going to want to go to MIDI and right here you're going to see the driver that you just added. You can see we named it UAD console MIDI. You're just gonna click track and remote. Now you can close that. Now you'll go into UAD console, pull up your preferences. And over here, you'll go to MIDI device and you'll see the same driver that we just, or the same MIDI port that we just created. So IEC driver, UAD console MIDI, cool. We can close that. Now that your MIDI is set up in console so that it can listen to Ableton, we're gonna come over here. We're going to go to our auto-tune preferences and we're gonna set our MIDI CC values for auto-tune. So this is basically how auto-tune is gonna listen to Ableton. Follow along with me here. We're gonna set the retune speed to CC 14, the key to CC 15, scale to 16, flex tune 17, and target notes via MIDI to 18. So again, that's retune speed CC 14, key CC 15, scale 16, flex tune 17, target notes via MIDI 18. Next step is you're gonna go over to your instruments over here, drag external instrument, onto a blank part of your session. You're gonna go to your input of this channel, click no input, you don't want it listening to any incoming MIDI. And now MIDI 2 is gonna go to that driver, is gonna go to that MIDI channel that we just created. So UAD console MIDI. And now this channel is communicating directly to UAD console. So if we go ahead and insert empty MIDI clip. Now we can use MIDI CC to talk to Auto-Tune. So these numbers right here correspond directly to the numbers that we just set in Auto-Tune. So 15 was the key, I believe. Yeah, 15 was key and 16 was scale. But basically you can see, if you look right over here where the key is, as I change this blue line, it's gonna change the key of the song. Boom. So now you can basically use that to set the key that you're in. And then for the scale, we're going to use 16. 
and you can see now the scale is changing. Usually you're just going to be in major or minor. So for this song, let's say that I see that I have uh, my tune Dose of the Dark Side is set to C minor. So I'll just go ahead and name that C minor. And then under MIDI 15, uh, MIDI CC 15, we're going to go ahead and set this to C and you can see in the key and then we'll make sure that 16 is set to minor and then you'll just basically repeat that for all of your songs I will just go ahead copy and paste this over to my next song like a feather which I see is in G minor and we will go ahead and just extend that out and then we'll go 15 and just move this around until that is G and again you can see that 15 corresponds directly to what we're seeing over here in autotune in UAD console so using these MIDI CC values you can also automate the retune speed although for the most part you're probably just gonna leave it at one retune speed and then just leave it there for your set I'd recommend maybe somewhere between 30 and 40 but you can dial that to taste let's say that you did want to change your retune speed that was set up via retune speed is 14 so we can go into here 14 and then you'll see as I move this up and down, that's changing the retune speed. One more thing that you might need to do is for certain parts of your song, let's say that you wanted to talk to the crowd between songs, and so you want to bypass auto-tune. I haven't found an easy way to just make it bypass because you're only able to send these parameters. So you can automate all this stuff, but for some reason there is no bypass. The workaround to that is to just turn the flex tune all the way up. The way that I would do that would be to make another external instrument here. Uh, set this to no input. And MIDI 2, same thing to your UAD console. So you have two tracks that are sending both to the console. If we name this, this will be like key and then this will be bypass. So to bypass, let's say that you wanna just bypass during this part of your, like between these two songs, you can easily do so. Insert empty MIDI clip. Remember that we set flex tune to 17. So we'll go in here, MIDI control, 17, flex tune all the way up. And now, when you're talking or screaming or whatever, <laughs> um, auto-tune won't be tuning the vocal, not in any way that's perceptible to hearing anyway. So I would just make this a red clip and call this bypass. And then for everywhere else, I would have a green clip and set this to tune. And this can be all the way down. I'll make this green. So now, during your set, it's always green, but then when you get to the end of the song, it switches over to flex tune, so that it's basically bypassing auto-tune. So that should be enough for most of you to do your show. There is one outlying circumstance that you might run into. Okay, let's say that we have a song where you're gonna sing outside of the notes of a normal C minor scale. So, just for the sake of this example, I will have a new song. And we're going to program the actual notes of the song. So if this one is in C minor, and we'll just start with a C, we can see here, make sure that you turn on target notes in auto-tune. 
And now you'll see that it's sending the C note. However, you need to keep the note going. So we'll just set it to a four bar loop right now. And you can draw in whatever notes are in your scale. So if we're in a C minor, it's gonna basically look something like this. These are all the notes in a C minor scale. Call it C minor. And now you'll see that it's lighting up all the notes of the C minor scale. So these are all the notes that are gonna be triggered. You can see that it's really hard to tell with the black keys, but the ones that aren't being used are slightly more dim. So we can see that C, D, C sharp, F, G, G sharp, and A sharp are all being programmed to be tuned. But if you wanted to say add a, like a sharp seven, you could like if you needed to add a B note, you can just go ahead and add that to the scale. And now you'll see that we're also adding the B here. So that is the way that you can program your own scales if they aren't easily fitting within the major and the minor. If you do need to do it this way, I would recommend just doing all of your songs this way. If you're not singing notes that are outside of the regular major or minor scale, just do it the first way that I showed you. If you are singing notes that exist outside of the scale, just do this for all of your songs where you program in the notes that Autotune will be tuning to. The other thing that I would do, grab the chord tool and just insert a shift so that you're only dealing with one octave of notes. But if you do minus 12, plus 12, plus 24, minus 24, now you're sending across the whole scale that you would ever conceivably sing in. When you do it this way, make sure that it goes for your whole song. And I would suggest setting your loop length to one bar so that every bar it's it's feeding your notes into auto-tune because let's say that it drops out for a bar you'll see the notes go away in auto-tune and so if it's not getting those notes it won't be tuning or it, it will tune but to C chromatic which you don't want so we'll watch right here and once it hits that blank space boom all your notes go away and then they come back. You can't use that method to bypass because it will still be tuning. It'll just be tuning the C chromatic. Okay, hopefully that all made sense. Hit me with any questions in the comments. I hope that this helps all of you to put on a stellar live show and not have to worry about tuning your vocals and get the most out of UAD console. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you dug this, I'll be doing more stuff like this. Much love to everybody out there. I'm Echo Zoo. Catch you on the next one.